All right, Paul. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Well, kids across the valley are starting a new school year. This past week, students in Queen Creek, Gilbert, Chandler, they all started back to school already. Some of them on one of those modified year-round schedules. It's an exciting time for some students, but really it can be stressful for others. All children are difficult, or not difficult, all children. <laughs> Children handle things differently, is what I meant to say. We've invited a Valley nonprofit here to help. I'm so sorry, that's not what I meant. We have invited a Valley nonprofit here to help parents and guardians identify the most common things that make school difficult. There we go. So we have Vanessa from Not My Kid here. So thank you so much for, for joining it's us. It's my pleasure. This morning. Thank you so much. So we know going back to school, it can be really tough. I mean, kids deal with things in different ways. Uh, what are some of the big stressors for students? You know, as Mr. Horton just pointed out, honestly, the weather's one. Kids are going to have to walk to the bus. They're going to have to wait for classes. Just being in that heat. I mean, you know in Us Weekly how they have the little section, it's like stars, they're just like us. I think it's good to think of like kids, teenagers, they're just like us. Yeah. The things that stress us out are the things that stress them out. Transition, change. Imagine getting seven new bosses. <laughs> 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 not knowing if they're even going to care about their job or like you, right? <laughs> I mean, true. I've never thought about it that way, but it's really interesting right. to think about I've it that way. I've said that a million times to people. It's like, imagine going to seven meetings with 30 people who are all picking their nose or falling asleep <laughs> and, and, you know, with a teacher who, you know, God love them, so burned out, so tired, so disheartened, you know, and, um, there are great teachers. It doesn't matter. Either way, you're just going the energy that it takes. So just the, the expending of energy like that, hoping that they fit in. Um, I mean, just like it could make your day for someone to say, oh my gosh, I love your shirt. Mm -hmm. You know, it's those little things that's on the other end of being stressed out. It doesn't take much to help kids kind of like get grounded and feel a little bit good about themselves. And I think that one thing we can do as parents, because I have six kids myself, and wow. one thing I focus on is, is how can I not be causing stress in my kid's life by being all over them about every little thing? What, what do you do with your kids? What kind of conversations do you have? What are some little things you can say to them to boost their confidence? Because you're right. You know, it only takes a little something for someone to really make your day and change your whole perspective. It's true, and that's true for adults. It doesn't matter how old we get, and it's true for, you know, my five-year-old as well. So um, I, I help them focus on, like, when they're feeling feelings, which are going to happen, anxiety, stress, anger, frustration, you know, annoyance, all those things, how can they get themselves back to a grounded, self-regulated situation? How can they work on that? So we really do talk about the things that we all know you know, taking a deep breath, um, uh, thinking of alternative ways that this could go, not catastrophizing. That's a big thing I think that we all do and kids especially with the less developed brain will do is think, oh, this is going to be terrible. It can be, you know, some kids, they, they want to talk to their parents, they want to have these conversations, but other kids, it depends on their age, they might not really want to talk. How do you get through to maybe your child if um, they're just not really opening up and oh you're my gosh. worried about it? That's my favorite question because really I know everyone will say oh kids they just shut down and they just go in their room and they're so isolated and they don't want to talk and all they care about is their phone it's just it depends on how, who we are being as parents many kids do open up to their parents and it the, I think we as parents need to constantly be looking in the mirror at who are we being such that they never want to talk to us I'm not saying it's our fault mm -hmm. but I am saying there's a lot more we can do being critical being controlling, uh, you know, nitpicking every little move and are you going to wear that? Oh my gosh, it's, you know, one big one I notice a lot is like, you know, it's 116 and people still wear hoodies. Kids wear hoodies all yeah. the time. Oh, you're going to get hot. You know, let them get hot. Let them work it out. It's fine. Like that's, we don't need to pile on to what's already going on in their head and on their phone with social media. We don't need to add to that. So I think like a big one is for us to just be more fun be more playful let things go yeah I love that. That works for adults. It works for it. That does. works for all of us. It's a universal yeah. thing. Kids are people too. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And I do say, I just want to say, I do love kids. I, that was like a complete misspeaking at the beginning. It's difficult to be a human. <laughs> it is difficult. 
difficult to be a human. I mean, like every day. Yes, definitely. So, Vanessa, <laughs> thank you so much. We really appreciate it. You always have really good insight. And uh, come back again soon. Thank you. Thanks. And come to the website, and you can email me at Vanessa at notmykid.org, and we can route you to programs. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks. All right. Well, coming up, how about this? Uh, a mullet party of sorts we're going to take you to. This little guy is jumping on the 80s hair wave. How his story of his mullet came about and how he's uh, planning to take the world by storm with his haircut. That's coming up on Good Morning Arizona. Golfland Sunsplash is better than ever with over 30 rides and attractions like Thunder Falls, Double Dare, Master Blaster, and Storm Rider. Plus bumper boats, laser tag, and more, all with free parking. Get the best deals online today at golfland.com. If your garage has become a breeding ground for bugs and pests, it's time to call A1 Garage Door Service. Hi, Tommy Mello here. Replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home. As the 